if you have multiple GPUs in your system, you basically have multiple supercomputers inside your one, uh, inside your PC. So the model's a little different than the CPU in the CPU world, where you have a unified address space across all the cores. Uh, we treat them as separate pro processor nodes in, in the program model. So users can decide which GPU they want to connect to, operate on that GPU, and select a different GPU for a different task or maybe a different part of the problem. Uh, they can still work together, but they're, set, they're, they're treated as separate nodes in the larger, in, in the computing space. Not unlike uh, if you have a cluster of computing where you have two PCs you know, solve, trying to solve the same problem. Uh, the reason for that really is that there's a massive bandwidth difference between the, the system memory interface, the PCI interface, getting stuff to and from the GPU, and the memories that are on the GPU. We have upwards of six to eight gigabytes a second of download and readback speed to the GPU, where the onboard memory is you know, over 100 gigabytes a second of uh, performance. So exposing that uh, level of the memory hierarchy to the programmer actually is a good thing because it's something you should be programming for. And while it is, a, it is more of a requirement on the user, it's something you want to be thinking about cautiously instead of having a, you know, a system try to automatically decompose your problem 